Okay. Now, I want I, in concluding, I want to say one more thing about these, and then we can go. Okay. Let's say that um, I have a reaction for which the delta G zero prime is very negative. Minus 20 would be very negative. Okay? So I've got a reaction for which the standard Gibbs free energy change is minus 20. Delta G zero prime is minus 20. I'd like to think in real terms now, and you guys know I like to think in real terms, not math terms, not chemistry terms, but in real terms, what this means for this reaction. The reaction is A goes to B, B goes to A. Okay? If I have this reaction that the delta G zero prime is very negative, what can I say about this reaction? Well, you probably won't, won't know off the top of your heads. So I'll tell you. You have a comment, Stuart? OK. Let's think about, we start with this being very negative, and we start with products equaling reactants. OK? Which direction is the reaction going to go? It's going to go forwards, right? It's going to make more products, right? By knowing the value of the delta G zero prime, I can predict the direction the reaction is going to go if I start out with equal amounts of stuff. That's a very, very powerful thing. You will hear people say that this is a very favorable reaction. And what they mean is what I just told you, that when we start out with everything equal, that we're going to favor making even more products. What's going to be the concentration of products and reactants at equilibrium? Am I going to have more products or more reactants? What's that? Well, if, if I started out with the same situation where I had the delta G zero prime is negative, I'm going to have more products because that's the only way I can make that other term be positive. That's another way of saying this reaction was favorable. I ended up with more products than reactants. Make sense? OK. Those are some things to think about. I think that's a good stopping point for the day. Let's stop here, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Oh, by the way, you want to do a song? I almost forgot. I have a song. You want to do a song? No? OK. Well, <laughs> yes? OK. It's a short song. It won't take long. OK, here's my song. Oh, Delta G, the change in Gibbs free energy can tell us if a process will advance. Because if the value is less than naught, it translates that reverse reactions haven't got a chance. But when the sign is plus, it is the opposite. And then the backwards happens all the time. A factor is the standard gives free energy. So don't forget about the delta G naught prime. OK. Uh -huh. I was wondering if you could look at one of these okay. long answers. I, I, I understand I didn't get full credit. Mm -hmm. I know I should have deserved okay. three, but I, I think that I deserve more than two points. Uh huh. Okay. Just have you, have you looked at the key? No. Okay. Why don't you look at the key, and then I'll be happy to talk to you. Then we can talk about that. Okay. 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 Hi. What's up? Something is, uh, well, there's a lot of standards, unfortunately. Is it 298 Kelvin? Or oh, zero, yeah, zero, you know. Zero zero. Um, I always just assume 300. 300? Yeah, okay. but it, does, it doesn't really matter for our purposes. Um, and another thing, since it's, the, the G naught prime, if it's um, a standard at the, the, the standard measurement temperature, whatever that is, right. it will 
won't be it will, it will reaction vary. change it at will. body temperature? Uh, will the reaction change at body temperature? Um, so the reaction will change as the temperature changes, yes. Right. So, so I mean, if we predict, if we predict a reaction, that's, that might be... Well, it, that's pretty subtle, though. I mean, so, so, for example, in going a few degrees, it's not going to be a big change uh, in the direction of the reaction. You're right, it will affect that. But we're looking at very general things, here, very, very general things. I think you're an engineer, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> so, so it's, it's not going to have a big, big effect on us. How are you guys doing? Well, good. I'm glad. I'm glad I can help you there. No, no, it's just so nice out. Yeah, I, I hear you. I, I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking with you. <laughs> No, I, I know what you would say. Don't worry about it. Yeah, have a good one. Have